Today we're going to go over your CBA so you can know which questions you got correct and which, which ones you got incorrect. But remember, the CBA was not for a grade. Number one, Dana went to the park yesterday. She played on the swings. Which measuring tool would be the most efficient tool to measure the height of the swings? A, paper clips, inches? I think not. It would take a lot of inches to get all the way up a swing set. Try to picture a swing set when you go to the playground and how tall it is. Base 10 longs, decimeters, a decimeter is 10 centimeters. So I still think no, that would take a lot of those to get to the top of the swing set. What about a meter stick? This one I think so maybe so. Let's check the last one. Centimeter cubes, centimeters. No, nope, it would take too many little tiny centimeters to get to the top of the swing set. So our answer here is a meter stick. Number two, this is a picture of Pete's dad. Which measuring tool would be the most efficient tool Pete could use to measure his dad's actual height? F, a foot long ruler measuring his dad in feet. I think maybe so, I'm gonna put a check. How about color tiles that are inches, that are one inch long each? No, that would be a lot of inches tall for Pete's dad. What about centimeter cubes? Centimeters, no, that would be even smaller. Or base 10 cubes, also centimeters. No, centimeters are too tiny to measure the height of Pete's dad. So our answer here is a foot long ruler. We would measure, measure Pete's dad in feet. Number three, a small paper clip is about one inch in length. Which object is about two inches in length? So let's look. We have our paper clip and it tells us it's about one inch. So let's look at our objects. Okay, we have an eraser with our paper clip. Do we think we could get one more paper clip to measure two inches? I think we probably could. Let's put a check there and double check the rest. Okay, let's see. If, if I drew about the length of another paper clip, that would be here, and then I'd have to do another one. I think no to the glue stick. I think it's more than two. Okay, I, I can tell that we're gonna need several paper clips for the pencil, so it's not the pencil. And what about the pretzel? Let's see, if I just think in my head about here, and here, I think that one's pretty close to the glue stick, so that one won't work either. So our answer is eraser. It would take about two paper clips to measure that eraser. Number four, part of a ruler is shown below. What is the length of the shaded bar as shown above the ruler? Okay, so let's just look before we look at our answers and let's figure this out. So. Our shaded bar starts at seven and it ends at 15. Now remember we practiced this. We can think of our ruler like a number line and we can say how many spaces are between 15 and seven. So I'm going to subtract 15 minus seven and I know that is eight, but let's double check with our hops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight centimeters is how long this shaded bar is. So I would choose eight centimeters. Number five, which answer choice matches the time on the digital clock below? So our digital clock says 530. So we're looking for a clock that shows 530. Let's check A. I'm gonna check my hour hand first. It's in between the five and the six. So I know it's to the five. And then when my minute hand's on the six, I know that's 30. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I can already tell that this is our clock. This clock shows 530. But let's look at these others. This clock is in between the 10 and 11. So that one shows 1030, the minute hand is on the six. This one's between the two and the three. So we say two, minute hand is on the six, that's 230. And our last one is between six and seven, the hour hand, 
So we say 630. Okay, so A was our choice there. Number six, point A is shown on the number line below. So A is on 60. How many units is point A from zero on the number line? So when I look at my number line, I don't see zero on this number line, but I can know that zero would be about right here. And I can see we're counting by tens on this number line. So if I imagine zero here and I count by 10, I would say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So at 60, it is 60 units from zero on the number line. Number seven, Marissa measured the widths of the two notebooks shown below. Okay, this one's kind of tricky, but we practiced it. To the nearest centimeter, what is the combined width of these two notebooks? So first let's see how many centimeters the first notebook is. And when I look at my ruler, I see that it goes to seven. So I'm gonna write seven centimeters on that notebook. Now there's a space, so I can't keep going. Let's see how many centimeters the second notebook is. I'm gonna do jumps. One, two, three, four. So between nine and 13, that is four jumps or four centimeters. Now to combine, that means add, I have to do seven plus four. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so seven plus four is 11 and I will choose 11 centimeters. Number eight. Carla used a ruler to measure the length of her, of her cell phone as shown below. Which measurement is closest to the length of Carla's cell phone in inches? So we can see they've given us a line here to show the length of Carla's cell phone. Now, is that closer to the five or closer to the six? To the six. So Carla's cell phone is six inches. Number nine. Donovan measured the kite and kite tail as shown below. Okay, so we have 92 centimeters. I'm gonna write it here just so we can see it better. And 39 centimeters. Our question says, how much longer is the kite than the tail of the kite? Okay, so this is the length of the kite and this is the tail of the kite. So how much longer we need to subtract. So I'm going to stack to solve 92 minus 39. And now I have to subtract. I have more on the floor. So I gotta go to my neighbor. The nine will change to an eight and the two to a 12. 12 minus nine is three. Eight minus three is five. So my answer of the difference between the length of the kite and the tail of the kite is 53 centimeters. Number 10, which answer choice matches the clock below? Okay, so first let's see what time does this say? We am gonna check my hour hand first and it's pointing right at the 11 and then my minute hand is pointing right at the 12. So I know that's o'clock. So we say 11 o'clock, we have 12 o'clock, one o'clock, there's 11 o'clock and that is our answer.